Baker, that mom with a laser here, and today I want to talk to you about how to create pet portrait ornaments. Aren't they amazing? I just love these. I think this is the perfect gift for a pet loving friend, and especially for somebody who may have lost a fur baby this year. It's such a thoughtful gift and something that somebody will cherish for a long time. So you ready to learn how to make them with me? Let's go. Okay, maker, so the first thing we need to do is draw out the silhouette of our customer's dog. So I'm gonna use Procreate, that's the name of the app that I'm using on my iPad, and I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna create a new canvas. I'm gonna hit the plus sign, and I'm gonna touch screen size. That's just the one that I normally work with. Now that I have my canvas ready, I'm gonna click on this little wrench tool, and I'm gonna insert the photo. In this case, we're working on this little guy right here. All right, so now all I'm going to do is zoom in so I can see him better. Okay, and I'm going to use my Apple Pencil. I honestly, I don't know which one this is. I don't have one of the brand new iPads and Apple Pencils. This is just um, an older one and it's really not that fancy, but it works for me. So what am I going to do? I'm going to go ahead to these double squares that you see right here and I'm going to touch this little N right here and this is going to help me change the opacity of the image and this is going to help me trace it better. So once I've done that I'm going to click the two um, these two little squares again and I'm going to hit the plus sign and I'm going to create a new layer and get to work. So I'm going to use my brush pen and I like to work with the script pen right here. I use sometimes the monoline and the brush pen, but this one I find I use the most. And I'm gonna bring my percentage to about four for the thickness of how I'm gonna draw the pet. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and, actually I think I wanna make it a little more, there we go, that looks better. Um, and go ahead and trace out his little body. And that's the first thing I'm gonna do. And I'll come back when I start adding hair. If I take off this layer here, you can see it's kind of starting to form. Don't worry if it doesn't look great yet, you have to add much more. And so now what I like to do is I'm gonna start with the eyes and then from the eyes, I'll work into areas where I see shadows. Like here, for example, there's shadows like in here. I'm gonna trace anywhere where I see um, creases in the skin. And then I will go ahead and fill in bits and pieces of hair. So let's, let's get to it. have a lot of editing to do but you can see how I'm you know filling in the shadows I'm gonna clean up a lot of this and this is a short haired dog so I am gonna try and follow um, where the the heavier shadows are with little itty bitty um, not necessarily dots more like teeny tiny little lines at random trying to fill in the um, heavier parts of his fur so that when I engrave it, you can see all this, you know, dimension onto the piece. So I'm gonna go ahead and I am going to switch over to the time-lapse of me drawing this so you can get an idea of how um, I'm doing it. And mind you, this is, 
this is only like the first handful of portraits that I've done, so I'm slowly but surely getting better. Um, I'm sure with more practice, I'll be able to do this even faster. So let's head over to time lapse, and I hope you enjoy just kind of observing um, how to go from the picture to um, a portrait. Now that my image is ready, I need to go ahead and make it laser ready. To do that, I'm going to take my image and I'm going to import it into Lightburn. Then I'll go to tools and I'm going to use the trace image function to trace my image. Then I'll play with the threshold to make sure I get as much detail as possible. Once I'm satisfied, I'll click OK. That looks pretty good, so I'm going to set it to fill, which means this is the part that I want the laser to engrave. Next, I need to set an outline for the laser to cut. To do this, I need to select the entire image and I need to ungroup it. This way, I can isolate the outline of the dog and create an offset. So I'll use the offset function and I'll pretty much just eyeball how thick I want the outline to be. That looks pretty good. So now I'm going to change the outline so it's set to a cut and get to work on the name. This little guy is known as Astro and I'm going to use Medina Clean for the font. I'm going to create an offset for the name and then I'll weld it together to make it one piece. However, when I welded everything together, I also created a hole in between his feet. So I need to ungroup the outline and delete that hole. Now the last step is to create a hole so I can put some string through my ornament and hang it on the Christmas tree. Then I'll set the dimensions and cut. This guy ended up being three and a quarter inches wide by roughly six inches long. I'm gonna cut this on a scrap piece of maple plywood that I have from Home Depot. It was already masked, so it was ready to go. So check out this, it looks fabulous. It's just so beautiful. I did have to resize it and make it a little smaller than the way I had it in Lightburn because it was just too big, but this is stunning. Now I'm gonna take Gorilla Tape and I'm gonna remove the masking. This was on a piece of scrap wood that I already had, so it was actually masked on both sides. You don't necessarily have to do it on both sides, but then after I do that, I'll take my lacquer. I like to throw a sealant over it. You don't have to, but that's how I like to do it. So I'm going to take off the masking just with the Gorilla Tape, which I find is the best tape for taking off masking tape. I don't know why other tapes just don't really peel it off as well. And then that's it. I'll seal it and I'll put some ribbon and we'll be done. Okay, maker, so we're done. All we need to do is put some ribbon through it. So I'm gonna take about 20 inches of ribbon. I'm gonna fold it in half and I'm gonna use a hack that I learned from the very person who taught me how to do this. I'm gonna feed it through the back of the ornament hole and then I'm just gonna tie a bow. There we go. So if it's too long, then you of course just go ahead and snip off the ends a little bit. I think that looks good there. And then I like to um, use a lighter just so that the edges don't fray. Perfect. And there we go. It is done. That's it for today, Maker. I hope you enjoyed your time with me. I cannot wait to gift these to people because I know that it's going to be a gift that they're going to cherish for a very long time. If you want to order one, I'm going to recommend that you go to the very person who mentored me and taught me how to do this. She owns Made Designs and I'll link her shop in the description box below. She is wickedly talented. And with that, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below and I'll see you guys here soon over at That Mom with a laser.